Aloha, it's Katie, and I'm back with another highly requested YouTube 101 video. As you guys may already know, or if you're new to my channel, my YouTube 101 series is a playlist of videos to help you start or grow a YouTube channel. It has everything I wish I knew starting out as a smaller YouTuber five years ago before our Alohana family grew to a huge size of over 100,000 plus subscribers. Today, I'm going to continue my five steps to starting a YouTube channel video for ultimate beginners for students managing school at the same time that I got you. We're going to talk about editing software, uploading videos the right way so you maximize the number of views and traffic your video gets considering the time you put into it and finally how to share it on other social media. If you haven't already seen the first part where we talk about how to plan these videos for time management and filming equipment, make sure to click the top right eye or check out the description box below so you know the first two steps. In terms of editing software, the ultimate beginner one is iMovie. For Windows, I hear Windows Live Movie Maker is good, but I personally am not as experienced with Windows. I started out with iMovie when I was 13 years old and I did not know how to edit videos. I think I had maybe one one hour lesson in school before, but that was, you know, what is iMovie, how to make a project, what are transitions, what are effects, all that. I never really got the experience until I decided I wanted to start making videos. And I didn't want to let my lack of filming or editing knowledge stop me. So what I did and what I recommend you do is to number one, watch a masterclass. Search iMovie masterclass or how to use iMovie tutorial. You will probably see a one hour long or at least 45 minutes. It seems like an hour and that's a lot, but it's only an hour of your day. The best way is also to just get your feet wet, open up iMovie or whatever editing software you're using and just try to make something because when you put yourself in that situation you'll naturally come up with a vision for what you want your videos to be like and you will need certain tools and that will force you to go on google and look at the, that specific tutorial you grow as you go and you learn as you need to based on what you want to actualize and the beauty nowadays with editing is that there are so many cool effects that you can now do on iMovie that originally were only available on more advanced software for example green screening Green screening has helped me edit as if I was using Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere when I was still using iMovie. They pre-made effects, transitions, social media overlays, you know, the ones that animate and pop up, subscribe or thumbs up like that. All that you can find online. I have a video on iMovie tips and tricks. Make sure to check that out if you haven't already because a lot of people have found that video super helpful. It is almost 200,000 views now. I talk a little bit fast, but you can slow it down to zero point. 7.5 speed. In general, there are also just a lot of editing channels on YouTube nowadays. A popular one before was Gabrielle Marie, and she was like a holy grail um, to edit like all the beauty gurus, Alicia Marie, My Life is Ava. But I think nowadays there's a whole new generation of editing YouTube channels. If iMovie is too easy, too basic for you though, I would recommend graduating to Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere. I think huge advantages of these two is number one, they're closer to industry standards, so they have a lot more flexibility and customizability with your videos to do more creative things but also they have downloadable presets or plugins that are the real game changers you should go explore to your heart's desire exporting quality is a big thing because I know a lot of people have issues with how big their file sizes and how long it takes to upload them so what I do is I upload in 180p HD 50 frames per second because that makes it more smooth but yeah also make sure your camera is filming at 50 fps finally i believe you can export in h.264 encoding or some compression tool like that you can also consider downloading a software called handbrake which is another compression tool which helps you reduce your video's file size while maintaining the quality nowadays my videos range from 500 megabytes to one gigabyte in terms of length i'd say that's around a five to 10 minute video, respectively. After your video is done, it is time to upload it. You gotta pay attention to another five things. Your title, description, keywords, cards, and end screens. Always fill in all of the five. I know it may seem like a hassle and not really what you signed up for, because all you want to do is make videos. But if you want to grow your channel, this is how you hack YouTube's algorithm to make sure you are maximizing every video you make. I know we all are here because we love creating, we love sharing things, and I hope that is your motivation at least, because it's gonna be hard to last on YouTube if your passion is like not there. But that said, we also have Eagle Want to be heard, to be seen. I did an entire video walking through all the five things I talked to you about. It is good practice and it will set you up for success. You also need a thumbnail for your video, which is the image shown beside your YouTube video. It's like a profile photo for YouTube videos, if you will. I also did a video on how to do this using free apps on both your laptop 
and your phone. So make sure to click the top right eye to watch more of that. And lastly, sharing on social media. If you've got Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, email, WhatsApp, Viber, GroupMe, whatever, milk it and share it with your friends. Share it with your family because they are probably gonna be the ones who will tell their friends. And I know like, why do you want, I don't know, maybe 40, 50 year olds watching my channel. You don't, but you want the children to watch your videos. And at first, I don't know, I just let my parents talk about my channel because whatever. But in the end, the people they told, told their children were actually around my age. So it worked out pretty cool. Guys, the beginning, starting a channel was the hardest, I feel. But once you get over that barrier, you are headed for good things, I think. Another thing is I know you might be a bit shy to share it with your family or your friends and yeah, I don't know, you might think they will judge you because that's how I felt and that's why I didn't tell my family and friends. But when I did eventually tell them, a lot of them were really supportive. I can imagine how much faster I would have gone into YouTube if I had had that support group. Pro tip, especially if you are a student or a college student, is to use your college's name. It doesn't matter if it's not Ivy League school or one of the prestigious schools that you think people want to see because actually there are thousands of people who want to go to the school you are in right now. There will always be some group, some community niche, not niche, I don't say niche, okay? Of people who care or are curious about your life specifically. Not everybody wants to go to a top school, okay? Not everybody wants to go to Harvard or Stanford. If you are at a state school, at a community college, I don't know, whatever unique education program you're in, maybe you're, okay, maybe you're not even in school, maybe you're homeschooled or you're doing online school, people find that stuff interesting and you will naturally attract people who are just like you. Now those were all the steps for starting a YouTube channel and now it's up to you to get off your butt after you watch this video. Now is a great time. Summer, you've got plenty of time, you're not bombarded with school, you can get in the rhythm so that by the time school starts again, you are on your feet, ready to go. I hope this video helped. I look forward to seeing your channel. Please comment down below. Let me know what your channel is about. Remember, in my YouTube 101 series, you can self-promote. Don't do sub for sub. Comment down below if you have any other video requests you want to see. Subscribe. My main channel is here. My vlog channel is here. Make sure to follow me on social media at LowaKDX because I'm traveling right now filming amazing shots that I can't wait to share with you. So make sure you have my notifications on for that. I will see you in less than a week with another new video. Bye guys.